reflecting on my unsuccessful 2020 presidential bid, USA general election. So back in November 2020, uh, the results of the 2020 presidential election in the United States of America, ge the general election came in and I was not elected president of the United States of America. I made a presidential bid that year with me as president and Hillary Rodham Clinton as my vice president. So we're forming a ticket and we're from Boston Tea Party, the one with the squirrels, the mascot, blood red color, that thing. And it was unsuccessful. So that's the competition result. Right? I put my name out there. I even put videos out. I'll link to my election voting playlist. It's, a, it's my election voting. Okay. Um, and so running again. So contextualize it in terms of my 2024 presidential bid. I should also go back to 2016. Because this is something I actually thought about doing in 2016. Uh, and I did not do so in 2016, I was looking at the ballot. I was looking, living in California and I'm going to actually have some food while I eat. This is my grandma Connie made some apple walnut bread and sent it back with my parents yesterday. And I've already, I had some yesterday, but I'm like, I'll have some more. So now that I'm about to launch into it, here's what it looks like. Some apple walnut bread. Uh, and so I, in 2016, I was looking at the ballot and... It was Donald Trump and Mike Pence for the Republicans, Hillary Rodham Clinton and somebody else for the Democrats. And then they had a write in the auction. You can write it in, in a candidate. And I was like, I, I want to vote for myself. Um, but I'm not going to because the person I wanted to vote for presidents most in my life and like the only person in my life that I'd wanted to vote for for president was Hillary Rodham Clinton. So I'm like, I'm not going to vote for myself. I'm going to vote for Hillary Rodham Clinton president um because it's a dream come true to vote for her so i voted for her though i had i did think about i should put myself down and i was like but who would i put as my vice president and i was like hillary rodham clinton <laughs> uh, i'm stuck on the woman i love her okay i'm tannis corley leonardi she her hers is Seattle. and so i was like okay well then i can't do that because she's you know she's, she, she's there so i voted for her but i did think about it and was like you know if she loses and she's not on the 2020 ticket, I should do myself as president and her as vice president. And I did. And I, I called that over four years, right? <laughs> Before it happened. Or a pro it might not have been over four years. Approximately four years before it happened. It's like putting myself on ballot as president and Hillary Rodham Clinton uh, as my vice presidential running mate. And we were unsuccessful. So since... The 2020, I put some, I covered my, what I voted for in the general election, not just president and vice president, um, but I put out a bunch of videos covering kind of everything and then what it took for me to be able to vote. And then there's rules for writing candidates here in Washington state. And so I covered a spattering of that. I covered who I would put, um, ask to be in my presidential cabinet uh, if I were elected and stuff like that. And so this time around, you know, it hasn't really changed, <laughs> right? Um, so I was like, well, can I flush it up? So that's what I've been doing this time around uh, for the 2024 presidential election, general election, is that uh, I've been taking and kind of filling in, like, what would be the things I would focus on? And then if I did get elected, would I run again? How would I decide on whether to run again? That kind of thing. thing. So I've been updating it. I haven't been putting out videos every election that I voted in. I'm at what? Like 12 since I moved back to Washington State in 2019. And registered to got my registration switched and stuff. If I go and view my voting history, it doesn't show anything from when I was registered to vote and did vote pre- living in California because when I went to California they actually wiped my voting history here in Washington State. That was part of the rules. So and they got it successfully done. So it's actually like that I can't see my voting history is actually a good thing because it means the people I interacted with did their jobs. So it's a good thing. Um, but am I bitter or anything like that? No. I, it was a huge step forward in just having the confidence 
point to put videos out on my own YouTube channel. Right, not... If somebody's the president of a country, they should be able to do it themselves. <laughs> Speak for themselves. Come up with their own ideas, their own content, their own words. And so, I'm doing it again. And it's less scary. This time. Um... And the squirrels are on board and that kind of stuff. And I've confirmed me and Hillary Rodham Clinton again for the squirrel with mascot and red color Boston Tea Party. I think there's more than one Boston Tea Party. I was implied by the naming of the party Boston Tea Party after a historical event. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so in that sense, I'm proud of myself on my unsuccessful bid. I still... I, I still fall I followed through and I get it and I've progressed in what I've talked about and the issues covered and stuff like that um, or the issues I would focus on I can think oh, well how was the apple walnut bread 80 out of 10 there we go. that was my reflecting on my unsuccessful 2020 presidential bid USA general election and I'm filming this Saturday 7 September 2024.